Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we will learn about how to make a 741 op-amp based amplifier or we can say that non-inverting amplifier within the multi -sim. For it, first of all, we need to take our op-amp and we have to search for analog. In analog section, we have 741 IC. It is an operational amplifier IC which used to work on the what's called as the a difference of voltages on two of the inputs. That is, its gain depends. Its gain depends upon, or we can say, uh, obviously, its gain is fixed, which depends upon. RF and RI that is the feedback resistance and input resistance but input difference also creates some sort of impact on the output so we need to take our power supplies for this op amp so one is VWD and one is VWE we need to give it 15 volt plus 15 volt and and minus 15 volt positive end must be connected with the pin number 7 and negative supply must be connected with the pin number 4 Pin number 6 is the output pin. Pin number 3 is for what's called as the non-inverting input and pin 2 is the inverting input. So we will connect our RF and RI on pin number 2 and 6. And one is and what is RF and RI? RF is feedback resistance and RI is the input resistance because our gain depends upon the value of these resistance the formula for gain is av is equal to 1 plus rf by ri that is gain is equal to av and it's equivalent to 1 plus rf by ri so what it means that when the value of rf is more our gain is more and if the value of Ri is high, then our gain is low. So let's test it that either it is right or not. So we need to take two of resistors. You can take the resistors of quarter watt, okay, like this, okay. Okay, we can go for like uh, 6K as RF, that is feedback resistance. Why it is called as feedback? Because it, it connects the output to the input, one of the inputs. So it is called as the feedback. Okay, now we will copy its, uh, this resistance and we will change the value. We will just uh, write 1K as an input resistance. So we will connect it with the pin number 2. Pin number 3 with what's called is the our input signal pin on which we are going to send our signal. So take one signal. We will just go for AC voltage. So it is signal voltage for OK. So we can connect it out like this okay uh, the one thing that is important and remaining is the ground sources and Okay, now we also need to reduce the frequency to 10 hertz. Okay, not more than that. We don't need it like that. Okay, so this thing 
okay now 1k 1k also needs to be connected with the ground okay now okay so now we need to take oscilloscope this one is our oscilloscope and we will connect it with the output and input and uh, where is the input uh, sorry it's okay we need ground so we will take one ground and connect it with the negative input of the oscilloscope now we need to run it out yeah but this is just for output what about input yeah we also need to connect the second curve with the input so that we can observe we can can observe both the input and output okay now you can see that one is input and one is output okay there are two curves 5 volt per division simply means that one block is equal to 5 volts so the output is around like uh, 7 or 7.5 volts while the input is just a 1 volt peak to peak now okay now one more thing that either we will get if we if we want to if we want to increase the value of rf either our output will our output will increase or not our gain will increase or no yeah we can see that when it is 10k rf is 10k then our output has gone to around 11 to 12 volts one more thing that both the input and output both are in phase they are not inverted or in phase because our crust of the output is just upon the crust of input input signal their both high peaks are their peaks are just above e e each other like okay the output is just above the uh, input so they are totally in phase so hopefully you got the concept that how we can make a simple non-inverting amplifier with the 741 op-amp so don't forget to subscribe and thanks for visiting our channel